and this is formed because you have applied soap when your body was containing i mean your skin was containing uh, skin was uh, skin had hard water on it and the soap which you applied reacted with the calcium ions present in that hard water and so this cum has formed so soaps actually do not work in hard water so that is a very serious disadvantage of soaps that they do not work any in hard water because the scum will precipitate and then the soap will get consumed and there will be nothing to clean the dirt so in what should we do to solve this problem we have to use another type of compounds which are called detergents now these detergents unlike soap will work in hard water because these detergents are not soaps they are totally different substances they are sulfonates and all these stuff you don't need to know the structures of detergents right now but the main thing is that unlike soaps they'll work in hard water and they'll clean the dirt in hard water as well they are not affected by calcium and magnesium ions present in the water but this detergents also have a serious disadvantage and what is that disadvantage it is that they are non biodegradable and non biodegradable means that they will not um uh, they will not degrade inside the soil they will not decompose inside the soil so and that non non biodegradable substance makes the soil quality very bad so detergent that is a very serious disadvantage for detergents and unlike detergents soaps are biodegradable that is they will not uh, they will decompose in the soil so soaps and detergents both have their advantages and disadvantages so let us make a common distinguish between soaps and detergents now these soaps first of all they will sorry not work in hard water and detergents will work in hard water secondly soaps are biodegradable and detergents are non biodegradable thirdly soap can be used on skin but detergent 
cannot be used on skin actually your detergents are they clean better than soaps so you might be wondering why do we at all use soaps why don't we just use detergents well, one reason is that detergents are non biodegradable so they have to be used in limited quantities and soaps are biodegradable and the second thing is that for your skin soaps can be used but detergents cannot be used because detergents they will create problems for your skin that means your skin will become rough by the use of detergents they are not as uh, what do you say soft as soaps so soaps are important in their place and detergents are important in their place now this ends soaps and detergents and subsequently it ends the chapter now there are some important points to remember in this chapter firstly before if you have a structural problem before going on to solve that problem first draw the structure if possible i mean if they give you uh, c17 or c18 you don't need to draw the structure but try drawing the structure always that means if they give you problems like uh you have a compound a uh, no you have this compound ch3 cl or oh, not not this compound ch3 ch2 ch2 oh and you are asked um what uh, how many different structures can be there for this so first of all draw the skeleton c c c put the oh over here this is one structure and you'll see that it is ch3 ch2 ch2 oh only ch3 ch2 ch2 oh and there can be one more structure where the high uh, oh is this and they may ask you the names of the structures also so this will be propanol or propan 1 all propan 1 all and propan all are same when we say propan all or when we say butan all we mean by default butan 1 all and this will be your propan 2 all 